Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're gonna to look at Everlast from Murphy's Magic. What is Everlast? Everlast is a Swami gimmick, okay? It's a thumb writer uh, that you can wear in plain sight 24 seven. Sounds pretty creative. Let's watch the trailer. Everlast is a Swami writer that never needs to be refilled. The lead is made from a soft metal that'll last for years. It doesn't require any special paper. It looks exactly like pencil, but can't be erased. Tell me a number between 1 to 100. 22. 22. <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> Mamma mia. <laughs> because of its form factor, it's extremely low profile, hidden in plain sight, and never needs to be loaded or ditched. <laughs> a writer that lasts a lifetime. All right, so that was Everlast. Everlast is brought to you from Raphael, D'Angelo, and Mazenic. All right, a couple questions we always ask about all of our magic reviews, and the first of which is... What's in the box? What's in the box? You're gonna get a little tiny uh, cardboard matchbox push away drawer box. And then inside that, you're gonna get the Everlast gimmick. Uh, it comes in both a size 10 or a size 12. And you'll get the download code to the video instructions. The video instructions are about eh, 12 minutes long. Is it what I thought? It's absolutely what I thought. It's a Swami gimmick. It's a Boon Rider. I mean, they say what it is in the ad copy. They show you exactly what it is. So I don't think there's anything to give away uh, there. How are the angles? The angles are you wear it in plain sight. You wear this on your thumb 24 seven as a thumb ring. So if you're the kind of person that can pull off wearing a thumb ring, uh, you might kind of like this. The angles I would add, there are some, uh, and that would be when you do your repositioning. Of course, you can't write uh, with the base of your thumb. You can only write with the top of your thumb and you wear your ring down here. And so what you'll have to do under cover is move the ring from the base of your thumb to the tip of your thumb. So obviously those are your angles and you kind of have to do that under the cover of your writing implement or you know down at your side. You'll have to do that on an offbeat so that nobody sees you. So can the gimmick be inspected? Uh, no, it can't be inspected. Uh, I would think that they would think that it was a weird thing you know, if they ever saw the other side, the writing side of your ring. All right, so what's the overall quality and production value of the video? Uh, like I said earlier, it's 12 minutes long, so it does feel short. The video feels short. Uh, you do get some live performances though. Every effect that is taught on it, you do get live effects. And then the explanations are all done back in the studio. Um, the live shots use kind of a handheld that pans back and forth. And then the studio shots is well mic'd and you do get multiple cameras. Okay, so what's taught on the DVD? Um, the performer in this does have a very thick accent, but I don't think that detracts any way from the teaching. And like I said, the video is only 12 minutes long, so it does feel short. It doesn't have a lot of extras. They don't have a lot of time to go into all the details. But I think anybody that's already familiar with a Swami gimmick or a Boon Rider will catch on fast. You're gonna get three tricks on here all together. You're gonna get an open number prediction. You're gonna get a scribble reveal, and you're gonna get a name reveal that you can do with one of those Hiram Haunted Hanks. Is it well made? Um, the ring itself just seems like a silver ring that you would get anywhere. Uh, it does seem kind of cheap. And you know, really, the whole effect is only $25. So I can't imagine for $25, you're getting a quality made sterling silver ring, right? Okay, just know that going in. You're not paying for a super cool, beautifully made ring. Um, so it does feel like a cheap silver band with a metal ball that's welded to the surface. Mine even had uh, weld marks and solder marks. How much practice does this require? Um, it does require more practice than a traditional Swami gimmick 
because of the repositioning that I talked about earlier. Uh, a traditional Swami gimmick will rest on your thumb tip and it's usually flesh colored. You don't need to hide it from your spectator. Um, you know, just, just like what you would do with a regular thumb tip, for the most part, those things kind of fly by on scene. So you don't need to spend any time moving it. Uh, and with this one, you do. You have to move it from the base of your thumb to the tip of your thumb and then back again. And so, I don't know, it just seems like an extra step. How much setup and reset is there? None. You can wear this in plain sight every single day. You could even wear it to bed. The pitch is you can wear it all the time, right? And it's so great that it never, it's never gonna run out of ink. What it does is it makes like a pencil type marking on the paper that can't even be erased. And so you're never gonna run out of ink. You can always wear it and uh, that itself is pretty cool. Positives, all right, so what are the positives to Everlast? Everlast dials up their traditional Swami gimmick with a fresh hip look. Wear it on you everywhere you go and nobody will be the wiser. You'll always be ready to read minds and shock your friends. Negatives, all right, so what are the negatives to Everlast? You know, like we say around here, there's negatives to everything. These are just the negatives that I see. They don't have to be the negatives that you see. Uh, number one, I didn't like the fact that you have to move the ring back and forth. Uh, didn't like the fact that the video is only 12 minutes long. It seemed really short. Uh, didn't like the quality of the ring. I also didn't like the size of the ring, okay? I received a size 10 for this review, and really you only get a size 10 or a size 12. So for me, I would have gone with a size 12. Um, I only weigh 170 pounds, five feet five, okay? Uh, and a size 10 did not fit my thumb at all. I could jam it down on the top, but it wouldn't go down any further. My wedding ring is a size eight, okay? So I wear a size eight ring, and a size 10 won't fit my thumb. It fit my wife's thumb, won't fit mine. So I would use a size 12. I can't imagine any guy being able to use a size 10. So maybe just forget the size 10. Uh, one of the other negatives though was because there's only two sizes, uh, if you get the size 12 and you find out it's too loose, their suggestion is to wrap black electrical tape around it until it's the right size. So I don't know how great that's gonna look. I mean, it's already one thing that you're wearing it like a silver thumb ring, but then you're gonna wrap black electrical tape around it. I kind of think that that kind of thing just makes it, well then, you know, just wear, a, then just wear a Swami gimmick. Like why, why bother to wear a thumb ring if it's gonna have black electrical tape around it? I don't know, it just seemed weird. Is it worth your money? It's 25 bucks and like they say, you get what you pay for. Um, it is not very expensive at all. And so I think it definitely puts this into the wheelhouse of people that are probably uh, not as experienced with a Swami gimmick and they want something that's a little bit more younger, a little bit more edgier. I personally can't pull off a thumb ring. Nobody would believe me if I wore a thumb ring. They would say, what are you doing wearing a thumb ring? It'd be like me wearing a, a nose piercing or an earring. Like it just, nobody would believe me. So <laughs> I think people that uh, can probably pull this off, if you could pull off wearing a thumb ring uh, and you're probably doing street magic, you're probably, you have a younger, fresher, uh, hipper look. I think this is probably for you. All right, so that was Everlast from Murphy's Magic. I wanna thank Murphy Murphy's Magic for allowing me to have this so that I could do the review for you. And if you'd like to purchase this trick for yourself, you can find it from your friendly neighborhood Murphy's Magic dealer. Thanks. Bye.